My buddy, it is time now to test something incredibly important. As you can see, we're on board an A330, the new one from Latin VFR, and it's time to land it incredibly smoothly. Oh, yes, the tails of the A330, which always lands so beautifully. Why are the screens so dark? Come on. Five. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know what, that actually wasn't that smooth. Let's go ahead and get this plane stopped here, reverse truck. And we're stopping on this beautiful plane, which you can buy now for 30 bucks on the stores. Oh, yes, beautiful. Let's take a look at that here in the replay mode. And oh, something is off here. The beautiful, smooth landing gear that the A330 normally has doesn't look all too tilted. Uh Oh, you know what? That's actually quite all right. Yeah, that was insanely beautiful, everybody. Yes, the new Latin VFR A330, indeed. This plane you can buy now on the stores, indeed, for like $33. It is the first ever A330 we can buy for the flight simulator. Although it definitely isn't the first A380 you can fly. I mean, we all know the Headwind A330 900 Neo, the, the very exact plane, which is freeware. And it's actually incredibly decent. Yes, we've flown it so much in live streams. But like, look at that. God, the bug is absolutely annoying, but Jesus Christ. Guys, you guys are hating on me all the time with my landings, but that has been absolutely beautiful. I think we can all agree on that. It sounds a bit strange. Oh my God, God can Yeah, it's, it even has the same thumbnail. This is the Headwind A330. That's incredibly funny. Oh, the cruise speed of these two planes are different. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we are on board this beautiful bird, which as you can see, doesn't have sound. Yes, I have always experienced some issues with the Headwind A330. Although it is absolutely uh, beautiful. I, well, I do think the new Latin VFR A330 is a lot more beautiful because, you know, the landing gear, for example, has a lot more texture to it with the new Paver A330. But I've always had issues with this very bird from Headwind. For example, we're now landing it here on the Courchevel Airport runway because I promise you we're going to stop. Yeah, the stopping mechanics aren't very realistic. Come on, let's try to land now. There you go. That's been absolutely perfect. Time to reverse thrust like that. And there we go. We stopped faster than the Cessna. Let me just tell you that. And now um, the flight simulator has crashed. That's just a normal headwind classic. Now, but to be honest though, this headwind A330 is really nice, which is why people have had a hard time justifying spending $30 on this extra add-on plane, which is, it's better than the headwind. For example, look at all the liveries we have. We've got literally tons of liveries of literal airlines I've never heard of, like, Lufthansa. Never heard of that. Let me uh, spawn into um, oh, or Asia. I, I like that livery. Kind of looks like a McDonald's fries. I mean, let's take a look. We've got a beautiful cockpit, of course. Overall, as I've already said, the modeling is absolutely pristine. They made a really good job because I mean, the A330 is an absolutely beautiful plane, especially the Neo. So nice. Also, the cockpit looks very good. Take a look, we've got a beautiful EFB here, like iPad. Look at that, perfect. We can make Navigraph, we have V-Speed Calculator, and also, of course, Checklist here. Let's go ahead and turn this beautiful airplane on. Battery one, battery two. And you can see, this is definitely nothing to be worried about. Works just as well as it should. There we go. Yeah, let's turn all the fuel here. That's great. Maybe this plane turns on a bit too quickly. PU on. Uh, okay. Let me tell you, this is definitely a decent A330 add-on here. Although I don't really see that much of difference compared to the headwind. I mean, that was also a great plane. Is it the most realistic ever? No. For example, we don't have, like, you know, fire handles that work. So no engine fire to be simulated either. All of that doesn't work. Okay, you know what? This is not that brilliant of an airplane. MCDU is incredibly dark. Why is that so dark? But something that Latin VFR is known for is a beautiful cabin. We can open the cabin door here. Yeah, perfect. And we can take a look. We've got a business class. That's actually one of the nicest business classes I've ever seen for the flight simulator, which is kind of useless. I don't really care about that very much. But it's nice to have Air Asia, of course, also in the cabin. It would be funnier to have like creepy actual passengers simulated and animated. That would be nice. No! I didn't expect this video to be this much pain. All right. My God, why? What is that? We've got Albert Einstein. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
That looks like a... Is that a woman? Premium economy. Okay, you know, this is not too much value. Overall, I mean, we're talking about a plane that doesn't cost 100 bucks, but 30 bucks, which is kind of like this mid-range. And I think this plane is relatively mid-range. But come on, let's go ahead and fly. Here we go. We can take off. We've got the beautiful runway. We can actually see the entire airport on our MFD screen here, which is really nice. That's good. We can beautifully take off. I mean, it's an A330neo, not the most amazing sound in aircraft. Let's go get this airplane into the sky. Also, this one has insane takeoff performance. And we've done a tail. Oh. Also, what concerns me is that the toted landing gear isn't as toted as it should be. Let's take a look once again. Here we go. We can already lift the nose up at 80 knots. And the main landing gear too. Okay. Huh, that's the total landing gear for you. That looks all right from this angle. But I want to take a look at the actual touchdown animation of that total landing gear. That's incredibly important. Come on, come on. Let's try it. Kind of landing smoothly. Hmm, okay. That's kind of all right. They could have done this a little bit more beautifully, but we can see these spiders coming out. This plane is a little dirty here. You can see some dirt. Very nicely done. And then we stop but not like in an unrealistic matter. So why do the A330neo, the new one from Latin VFR, the ratings aren't the best 3.9. Mm, there's a lot of uh, one star um, ratings here. Maybe because sometimes this plane can get buggy too. Now the question that I want to answer is, would I have bought the Zerg plane if I didn't make a video on it? No. I love the A330, but I think the Headwind A330 would have been totally enough for me. This A330 right here is not that much better than the Freeware A330 to justify $30. Is it bad? No, definitely not. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty decent, but I wouldn't have bought it. It just wouldn't be worth it for me. But this is definitely a very personal thing. If you have the money, then this this is definitely the better airplane. If you don't, then um, I just stick to the thing. Also, this airplane will do great on Vatsim. You can do fly it across the oceans with this thing beautifully. Very fun airplane for sure. You can do some butter landings and it will do those better than the headwind. But if that extra realism this plane brings you isn't worth $30, then I wouldn't recommend it. Overall, switches are one proof. This plane is okay. Everybody, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night again. Fuck now. All right, full of power, stop. A little bit of a quick touch. I wanna, I wanna just stop this plane, actually. I should have picked a, a bigger arrow. Check this out here, this landing. Oh, thank you, thank you, Grass, for literally blocking the entire view right there. Thank you very much. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knots Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.